been the director of special projects for USA Hockey since 1992. He's coached the U.S. men's national team and was recently inducted into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame back in 2014. We are very lucky and happy to have him on the show today. Lou, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. Nice to be with you. It's nice to have you on. Uh, I got to start with the Hockey Hall of Fame, the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame induction. It is Hockey Week across America. Did you ever think that your hockey journey would land you there? What was that like? Well, it's, it's a great honor, of course. No, I never thought about it. I didn't even think about coaching or being in hockey. It all came about all by accident. Yeah, Lou, you have had kind of a really uh, amazing career starting in the New York area and kind of uh, being involved with USA Hockey for so many years. And, you know, I want to ask you about something that I've been meaning to ask you, wanted to ask you for a long time, <laughs> is about Anatoly Tarasov, who is kind of the, the godfather of Russian hockey. You got to know him a little bit. What was that experience like? Because he seemed to be quite a character. I believe he's the greatest person to ever be involved in hockey as far as making the game better. What you see right now in the National Hockey League, and it's great hockey, it's entertaining, it's fun, it's it's a combination of everything. Everything that should be in the game, and and we see so much less fighting and, and dirty play. We just see real great hockey. Um, I think he's the main reason for it. He uh, he told me this story. I First of all, I accidentally turned on a game in 1969 on ABC Sports. It was the wild world of sports. And uh, in Stockholm, the world championship, Soviet Union was playing Sweden. And I noticed his name ticket on the bottom of the television. I wrote it down. I was so impressed with that hockey game by both teams. And I had gone to every Ranger game I could go to my whole life until that point. And so I saw great hockey and, and great players in the National Hockey League. This hockey was different. It, it just enthrilled me. And I, uh, about a month later, I wrote him a letter. I just addressed it, head coach Anatoly Tarasov, uh, National Hockey Team of the USSR Moscow. And later on, I got a return letter, maybe six months, five months later. And it was an invitation anytime I wanted to come because I complimented him and said, I'd like to see how you train and how you play that way. And eventually I made it there. And uh, he and I became great friends, lifetime friends. I'm still in contact regularly with uh, his grandson and Alexi. And I knew his daughters. I, I know Tatiana well and uh, his wife, his late wife, Nina. Just great people, great family, and all of, many of the players who played for him uh, are friends of mine. And um, I learned more from him than anybody, and he really inspired me. And that's what got me going in the game. I had help from Abel Francis, Fred Shiro, Bart Grillo, Eddie Escape, lots of great people. But Jim Weber, these people all helped me. Many, many did. Art Berglund. But Tarasov inspired me. And I believe it helped change hockey in the United States. We brought him over many times. He, uh, he was a great influence on our hockey and I think world hockey. One of the things that I'm wondering then, Lou, is if we're seeing maybe a little bit of that influence of him many years later with the ADM, the American model that you had a, a hand in doing as well. Or are we seeing some of that from years and years ago now resonating through the U.S. program? And, and how much is the ADM meant to development of the youth hockey? It's a wonderful program. And the latest one, which celebrated 10 years, I had very little to do with. I just, Ken Martell had the uh, most to do with it in his hockey department. But I did uh, spend a month looking over the notes and the, and the way they were putting it together. The original, I wouldn't call it the ADM, but the original pro program of age-specific uh, training and playing of players, I did put together in 1979. And, uh, and I know that uh, influenced the modern one today. And uh, at the time, it was uh, revolutionary. We only had four employees. 
no computers, nothing. I did it with a pencil, a ruler, and paper, and wrote it out and hired a Kelly girl to type it up, and we sent out these brochures to every coach in our country and asking them to uh, use this as part of player development, and I think it was uh, very helpful, and that was inspired by people like Tarasov. Uh, Lou, we can't talk about U.S. hockey, or at least I can't, without talking to you about what's going on with Patrick Kane right now in the National Hockey League. 19-game point streak. Uh, in your opinion, when it's all said and done, could he be the best American-born player in NHL history? Well, of course, <laughs> but I, don't, I never answer that question because it's too difficult to, to answer. You have goalies, defensemen and centermen and wingers. And, you know, every 10 years or so, uh, it, it's a better way to encompass maybe who was the greatest of the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, right, the era. For me, it's too hard to say that. Plus, I had the privilege of either being a head coach or an assistant coach with guys like Neil Broughton and Mike Madano and 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 Taychuk and... Uh, uh, Chelios and uh, Leach and Richter, Miller, so many players. You know, I hate to leave any names. Those names out. are pretty. Familiar. Those are good. Those are pretty Those good, are good names. Yeah, <laughs> these are. They're all great players, and and he is a he is a Kane is a great player, no question at all about it. And we have a lot of other great American players, and they play in the league made up, really internationally of superstars, great players, all of them. Well, uh, it's been a pleasure to watch Patrick Kane uh, do what he's doing on this streak. And it's been a pleasure having you on the show. We really appreciate it. The perfect way to celebrate hockey across America. Thanks, Lou. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you very much.